You just got an account with Legacy Funding. Now what? In this video, I'll be going over everything you need to know about getting into your account, how to start trading, answering any questions you may have. It doesn't matter if you're new to Legacy or you've had an account before. I'll be going over a ton of tools that'll definitely help you in your trading, so stay tuned. Here you can see on my screen, we're at the LegacyFundingFutures.com homepage. At the top, you can see the About Us, how it works, and also the FAQ. What I wanna emphasize is here on the FAQ, it has a ton of information and is super in-depth, but I hope to be able to answer a ton of your questions in this video. Back here at the homepage over in the right-hand corner, you can see the login and the get funded button. If you already have an account, you can click on login and it'll take you into your dashboard where all of your account history and your metrics will be inside of there. But let's say you don't have a login yet. You can click here on get funded or down here where it says to get funded is next to the join our Discord link, which will also be linked in the description of this video. If you click on get funded, it'll take you right down to the drop down of the different types of accounts and also the different size accounts. Starting here at the top, you can see our different types of accounts, which is our Rise and our Elite. Some of the main differences between the Rise and the Elite account that you guys may want to know is that the Rise costs less and has a smaller profit target, but the Elite has bigger payout percentages starting at 90% and goes up to 95% right away. Where like I said, the Rise account is cheaper, but your payout split starts at 75% instead of 90%. For more information, click on our FAQ and read more in depth about the different types of accounts. Let's say here I wanted to go with our 100K Rise Challenge, which is one of the most popular. I'll click here on Choose Plan and it'll take you right to the checkout page. Here at the checkout page, you're gonna click Rise versus the Elite. We wanna do the Rise account. I'm gonna choose the 100K and I'm gonna choose DX, which is gonna be the preferred platform. I'm gonna take you guys through in a second. After you click next, it'll take you to complete your order. We have to put in all your information and then click next once again and put in your payment method here. Towards the top here will also be where you guys can go and use a promo code because inside of our Discord and on our socials, we are dropping promotional codes all the time for you guys. So once you guys put in the code, like here, I'll give you guys a free code, LFF10. That'll give you 10% off. I'll click apply and you guys will see here, it shows you that the coupon then removes that discount. And then you can come down here, put in the rest of your payment details. And once you click agree to these final two boxes, click that place order. What's gonna pop up is your order is received. Right here has your order number, your email, all of your order details. And now you're gonna go over to your email to actually get your login credentials. Right after you guys confirm your order, go check your email. You can see right away over here on the right side, it shows my credentials were sent right away. It shows right here, order was complete. Please set your dashboard. If you have not had a legacy account before, this is where you'll go in and have to click set password. And then you're gonna have to go in and this will be the password you use to log into your legacyfundingfutures.com account. Once you guys set your password, it'll automatically log you into your dashboard where here you'll see your login credentials and you'll see your account inside your dashboard right here that you just purchased. Now that you are inside of the dashboard, one of the most important things you do right away, because this is one of the most frequently asked questions we get in the support email and in the discord, is that when you go try to log in and you haven't signed the DX trade agreement yet, it'll say no data available. If that's happened to you when you try to sign in, it's because you have to go into your account, into your dashboard right here and right here you will see it'll say, you will see here it says you have an unassigned agreement that needs your attention. Please review and sign it to access your platform account. Click on sign agreement. It'll take you to the DX page that you have to click. I am a non-professional. Go through, put all of your information, click all the terms and conditions and click submit you will not be able to get into your actual trading platform and start trading until you sign this. Once all your information is inputted, you'll click submit. It'll then input you into the DX trade community where then now you can actually go in and you see it'll log you right into the dashboard where you can start trading. Another way to access the platform and start trading is I'm gonna delete this right here to go back to your dashboard. You can see here when we're looking back at the dashboard, down here you'll see where it shows your metrics where if you wanna click inside, it'll show you all of you know your live trades will be down here at the bottom it'll show you if you've you know hit the profit target yet what your consistency is all that type of stuff will be displayed once you click into your metrics but back here on the actual dashboard if you want to be able to access the platform you can click here on the credentials once you see your login credentials you want to come over here and actually copy your password and click launch platform once you launch platform it'll pop up here and show you where you want to put your username and password one of the most common things we also get which might be a frequently asked question, is that here you wanna put in the email you have, but the password is gonna be what you just copied from the credentials you got from DX. It's not the password you made to sign into the legacyfundedfutures.com website. So here I'm gonna go and put the email that I use and I'm also going to paste the password I got from my login credentials. I'm gonna click log in. 
Once you log in, the screen might be filled with a bunch of these different types of widgets. How to easily get this off your screen? Come, just click X in all the corners. It's going to make it very clean, where now you can see you just have your chart. Now that you are fully logged into your platform, you are ready to start trading. Some of the things I wanna point out here on the actual platform is up here at the top, will show your balance, your equity, where it shows your day RPL will actually show you if you're up or down on the entire day. Next to it will be your PL when it's actually, you know, when you're actually in a trade, it'll be fluctuating up and down. Over here, one thing that a lot of you guys are gonna wanna do is click on one click trading. What this is going to do is when I go and actually place a position, it'll make it so I can actually just grab the buy stop or the sell stop or the limit and drag it, which a lot of you guys are gonna wanna do, which I'll show you in a second. But let's go over here where you can actually go and choose which asset you wanna trade. So let's say you wanna get rid of this and the instrument we wanna trade is NQ, which is NASDAQ. We'll click on NQ, click right on here, boom, the chart will pop up. One of the cool things you could do on the legacy platform as well is if you right click and go to settings, you can get rid of the watermarks behind, get rid of the, you know, the lines behind it, and then also go in the colors and customize what colors you want your candles, which a lot of you guys also use. But you know, we can do that in another video. But in here, some of the other things you need to know is up here in the left hand side corner, you see where you can sell or buy with the amount of contracts that you want to do. I have another video here on the YouTube that goes into how to calculate ticks and how many contracts to do based upon how much you want to risk. So you can go watch that. But this is how many contracts you want to do, you know, and then here you can see the entire platform. It looks super clean. Here's where you can change, you know, different instruments. And one of the things also that was not in the other video that I want to show you guys is how you can actually already have a stop loss and a take profit set. I'll go over that in a second. But first, let's just get into a position and show you guys kind of how the platform works. Let's go over to M and Q, which is micro so that we're just risking a lot less just because this is just uh, for an example. But let's say we're on micro and we want to do two micros. You know what I'm saying? I begin to a buy, right? Instantly, you could see it is getting you right where you click that buy position to show you your PL up here in the corner. Like I said, if you already have closed in profit or on a loss on the day, it'll show you on the day RPL. You can see once we're above it, back in profit. But let's say you want to get out of the trade. One of another common question that you guys have is how to put a TP in a SL. In futures, it's a little bit different. So because we are in buys two contracts, if we want to put a take profit, we're going to right click and put a sell limit for two contracts. Selling off two of the contracts is equivalent to having to take profit in that area. A stop loss would be a sell stop of two contracts. Why? Because we're in buys two contracts. If we want to get rid of those two buys, we're going to sell off those two contracts. So here, let's say my TPU is set right here coming up and boom, hits me out. Now you can see in the corner, I'm up $19 already on the day. If I want to get rid of this. I can click on it and just click cancel order or click the flatten all in the corner. But now let's say that you guys already know before you get into a trade, what you want your stop loss to be and your take profit up here at the top. A very amazing feature of the platform is you can click on this drop down and and click on trade bar because we're on NQ. We'll figure out how many ticks we want our take profit and how many ticks we want our stop loss. Let's just do it a lot for right now. But let's just say we wanted a 20 tick stop loss and a 40 tick TP because it is four ticks in one point with NASDAQ. Let's just say there's like, you know, this will be the quantity of how many contracts you want to do. But if you hover over, you could see if you put a sell market, it'll put you exactly where the entry would be, where your stop loss and your take profit would be. If you want to buy, it'll show you exactly where your stop loss and your take profit would be if you want to buy. Or like I said, you can just place a limit and you could put a sell limit or a buy limit, whatever else you want to do. So there you guys go. This is how you actually will be able to actually get into the trade with a stop loss and a take profit already set. But once it's already set, then can go with the one click trade trading and move it around. Cause like I was showing you guys, if you come back over here and let's say I right click and put a, you know, you have a sell limit up in this area, you can click and drag it up and down. If you have the one click trading enabled, it is so user friendly, right? When you hey, look how fast I can go up and down, it's not going to lag at all. I let go. It's going to instantly show you the order is replaced exactly where you wanted to put. Let's say that's the sell limit. And like, like I said, down here, let's say you have your, you know, sell stop or whatever. If you're in buys, let's say you want to get out of it manually and you just get out of your trade, but you want to get rid of both these at the same time. Like I said, you just click flatten all and then boom, everything's gone. You actually can come up here too, where it shows your balance, equity, your liquidation. You can actually customize this. You, you click on it. You can go to header customization over here shows me what I already have, but let's say I wanted to add my max drawdown. I can click and drag the max drawdown over into here and click apply. That'll then show it up in here, but I already think it's 
you know, filled with a bunch of stuff, it would then kind of go off of it. And also if you want to get rid of any of this, you can go on there and get rid of it and click apply. That is a quick tutorial on how to actually purchase your account, get your credentials and log in and get trading right away. If you have any other questions, you can leave a comment when it comes to actually on the platform. But on here, it's pretty user friendly. Like I said, you can go in, put anything you want, the time frame up in here, you could just change and trade. You have no delays and no lags when you guys are trading here on the legacy platform. Another question you guys may have is, can you do this on your mobile? Yes, if you go and log in to the legacyfundfutures.com dashboard and you go and click launch platform, you could trade right off the platform in your account right in there also. If you guys have any more questions about how to get into your account or if you ran into a problem, we have support at legacyfundedfutures.com email ready to answer any of your emails or click the link below, join the Discord where if you scroll down, there's gonna say help desk. In the help desk, you can open a ticket and we are there 24 seven to answer your questions, figure out anything you guys need and overall give you the best experience possible when trading with Legacy Funding. So stay tuned for what we have coming in 2026 with Legacy Funding. Subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.